What's up guys, Rand Razor here with another tech video for you guys today and today we are going to check out Autobox's Defender Series lineup for the all new iPhone 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max. So Autobox has not one, but three different Defender case models for this year's iPhone. We have the regular Defender case, the Defender Pro case, and their Defender Pro XT case. Alright, so the first case that we are going to check out is the original Defender case that we have here. This comes in a few different uh, color options. Here's another example here. This is the Realtree edition, which has made another comeback for this year. So I'll show you guys what this looks like on the iPhone later on. But first off, let's unbox this. Comes in your traditional recyclable cardboard packaging. So along with the recyclable cardboard, the case itself is made with more than 50% recycled plastic. So it's kind of nice to see Artbox trying to be a greener company. More specs on the back here, four times as many drops as military standard, wireless charging compatible, port protection, trusted quality, and comes in your with your uh, traditional holster and kickstand. So let's unbox this. So the first thing that we get here is the actual case. Next up we have the kickstand and holster, and some information on 5G compatibility material and warranty information. Alright, so let's take a closer look at the Defender case. So it has pretty much remained the same thing as last year's model, except fitted for the iPhone 13. Uh, still a two-piece design, so you got to remove the outer rubber layer. Like so. And then you got the inner polycarbonate layer that holds your iPhone. There is a large, soft foam pad to cushion the back of the iPhone. And as you would expect with the Defender case, it is a two-piece design that holds your iPhone in place. Here we got my iPhone 12 Pro Max. Usually what I do first is clean the iPhone to ensure there's no dust and stuff that's lingering on it before you slap it in your case. So we'll grab the iPhone. I'll put the back side on first. Next up, grab the front piece, snap it onto the top. And once you got that piece on, grab your rubber piece here and then kind of massage it all the way around the sides of the iPhone and push the rubber on top of the plastic trim so that it kind of slots into place. Now in regards to screen protector quality, last year I got away with it for whatever reason, but this year, a little bit off here. All right, we're gonna try this again with my second tempered glass screen protector that has not been used yet. Alright, so a bit of a hiccup there with the screen protector, but I did manage to get it on. I guess my advice is maybe throw on the screen protector, or throw on the defender case first, and then put the screen protector on. That way you know it's going to be aligned between the edges of the defender case. But this one here worked, and I'll post a link in the description there to show you guys which screen protector that I did use. Alright, so taking a quick overview of the original Defender case, starting off at the top here, you can see the rubber and plastic still wraps around the entire border of the iPhone and lips just above my glass screen protector. Moving on to the side of the case here, we have covers for the power button as well as the volume rockers, which you can see here. There is also a little cover for the vibrate and ringer switch, and it's kind of hard to tell in the video, but there's also these grooves that are engraved on the top and bottom part of the sides of the case for added grip. On the bottom, you have two individual cutouts for the stereo speakers and mic, as well as a protective covered flap for the lightning port. And lastly, on the back side, the entire back does have a nice smooth, grippy matte finish. The Autobox logo engraved on the bottom, a precision cutout for the camera lens module with a blacked out finish to help prevent any flash issues. And this also seems to be compatible with my camera lens protector as well. Here is a quick comparison between the Defender case on the front here the commuter case, and then the symmetry case. So here's the symmetry case next to the defender case here. And you guys can see it is a little bit thicker, the symmetry case being the thinnest one out of all the cases. And then we have the commuter case here, which I would say is a step between the symmetry case and the defender case. And they're actually roughly the same thickness, but the it's kind of hard to tell in the video, but the sides of the defender case are significantly thicker. So although uh, I guess uh, thickness wise it doesn't seem to be that much different but uh, for the width of the case 
it, it is a, a little bit uh, thicker and you could tell by holding one case compared to the other that this one here is a little bit more wider. So like I mentioned, just like last year's model, I do like the new streamlined version of the Defender case because of its thinner design, uh, thickness wise, it's a much more practical case to use to the point where I would say this would make a great day-to-day -day case. In regards to any cons or things I don't like about the Defender case, as you guys saw earlier, I did have some issues with the screen protector. Uh, the screen protector does fit, but you have to make sure it's perfectly lined up with the actual case. So if you haven't put one on yet, uh, or if you already have one on, you may have to take it off and realign it. So that's one thing to keep in mind with the Defender case. Um, second thing, it's a Defender case. It's a bulky case, so it is going to feel a little bit like a brick in your pocket. It adds extra weight, it's going to make your phone feel wider, so it's not exactly a uh, slim case compared to the other other cases that Autobox offers. And I think the last thing I want to mention is because the entire case is wrapped in rubber, it's great for grip, but if you want to put this in your pocket, you'll notice that the rubber really likes to stick to fabric, so it's a bit of a difficult case to kind of slide in and out of your pocket, especially your back pocket. In conclusion, if you're looking for the ultimate drop protective case backed by a reputable company for your brand new iPhone 13, 13 Pro or 13 Pro Max, you can't go wrong with the Autobox Defender case. All right, next up, we're going to check out the Autobox Defender Pro Series case. Now, the Pro Series case is actually pretty much identical to the Autobox original Defender case. If I can just get this out, there we go. Comes in your same cardboard recyclable packaging, also comes with a holster. And you can see here the Pro Series case, aside from the lines on the back, they are pretty much identical in regards to the case design. So what exactly is different with this new Pro Series case? Well, there's actually only two major differences between this and this one here. As you guys can already see, the back is a little bit different aesthetically. It's got these lines on the back. Aside from that, same Autobox logo, same rubber, same matte finish. The second and most major difference between these two cases is something that you can't actually see. The Pro Series case has a lasting antimicrobial case protection. In other words, it has an antibacterial coating on it to help repel and reduce the chance of bacterial growth. All right, so here is what the Autobox Defender Pro model looks like on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. And the feel is pretty much the same thing. Like I already mentioned, it's identical to the original Defender case. Uh, you got the extra lines on the back here as well as that antimicrobial coating. Otherwise, exact same case as the original Defender case. Now price-wise, this model is actually a little bit more expensive by five bucks. So if you value the antimicrobial uh, coating or if you prefer this newer look to it, then it's not gonna be a huge price difference to jump from this to this. And I just noticed one additional difference. So the original Defender case on the top here, the grooves are on the edges, whereas the grooves on the Pro Series case are directly on the sides. So on the sides, and this one on the edges. Um, it doesn't make a huge difference, but it's just another little difference I noticed between the two. In conclusion, which one you should get? In the end, because the price difference is very minimal at $5, it just depends on if you like to look at the Pro model or the original model and if you value the antimicrobial coating. Now, the last thing I want to show you guys is removal of this case, which is not too difficult. So you just pry off the rubber piece like this. Make sure your covers are open and it should just easily slide off. So once you got the rubber piece off, grab a thin microfiber cloth and use that to pop each of the clips off. The reason I recommend a microfiber cloth is because these clips can kind of hurt your nails a little bit. So this makes it a lot more, uh, a little bit easier and comfortable. And that's it. A couple last things I wanna show you guys before we move on to the last Defender case is what the other colors look like. So here is the kind of purple magenta color. Here's what the case looks like with the iPhone 13 in it. And this uh, magenta purple color looks pretty nice on it. I'm sure you guys are probably tired of seeing black iPhone cases all the time. So here's a nice color to spice up your iPhone with something that's a little bit more vibrant. And one more color to show off the Defender case and that is Autobox's Realtree Edition. And here it is with the iPhone 13 Pro Max in the Realtree Edition case. You can see here, we got this big, large Realtree design on the back here. It's a very high quality printout, so it's not something that's going to easily wear and tear over time. You have the Autobox logo printed on the bottom, as well as the Realtree logo. And the entire back of the printout has a nice smooth finish to it. So it's not like a sticky, rubbery finish that the other Defender cases have. So you could argue it might be... Uh, 
a slight, slightly easier case to whip in and out of your pocket. Anyways, that is the Realtree edition of the OtterBox Defender case. So for those of you who want something that's a little bit different or spice up your phone, or if you have other Realtree gear to match, then this is a pretty nice choice. Here's a quick look at the belt clip that's included with all the Defender cases, except the XT case. Um, this is great if you want your phone to be hanging outside your pants on your belt. It has a nice clip on the back here that just snaps into place. It's spring loaded. Or if you want, you can use this as a kickstand for your iPhone. So if you want to like watch a movie or something like that off your iPhone, you can sit on your desk like this and it works nicely as a stand. The very last case of the Defender lineup here is the Defender Pro XT. Well, let's see what this one has to offer. So the Defender Pro XT, I think was introduced uh, last year along with the iPhone 12 Pro Max. And this was Autobox's answer to a bulkier style case, a step up from the Symmetry case that offered MagSafe because the commuter case and the regular Defender case that I just showed you guys do not have MagSafe built in. So the XT case is a little bit of a different design than the other Defender cases. You have rubber sides fused to a plastic polycarbonate shell. But believe it or not, it's actually a two-piece design. So find the two tabs here and you have to pull the rubber off to gain access to the top plastic trim. It kind of reminds me of the Pursuit series case that Autobox used to have a couple, three, two or three years ago, but then they dropped that lineup. And I think this is kind of like a replacement for it more or less because it's a case that Autobox could implement MagSafe built in. Now, I didn't think Autobox could make a more tedious case to remove and install compared to the Defender case, but this little plastic trim here is a bit of a pain to take off because you do have to be a little bit careful with it since it's not a very thick piece by any means. But once you got it off, you can finally put your phone in. Now, before I put the iPhone in, here's a quick look at the inside. You can see the MagSafe part that's built in. The back part is plastic and the sides are actually made of rubber. So your iPhone is nicely cushioned in rubber on the sides. So grab my iPhone 12 Pro Max. It should just, I guess, tuck into place. And then you gotta put this plastic piece back on. Now it's kind of hard to tell in the video, but there's actually a little rubber gasket that surrounds the entire border of this top plastic piece, which I think helps ensure that yeah, it doesn't scratch your phone, uh, but also so that it helps seal your iPhone from dust and debris from getting in between the case and your phone. Now I think putting the plastic piece back on is a little bit easier, maybe not by much, but you just kind of have to massage the rubber on top of it and it should just slide into place. So yeah, it's definitely, I would say this is a little bit more difficult to put on than the Defender case because it's just a slightly more tedious process. All right, so definitely something to kind of take your time with. It took me a couple minutes to massage every part of the sides here into place, but I think I pretty much got it all. All right, so once you have it on, it is on there. Your phone's definitely not coming out. So here it is, the Autobox Defender Pro XT case. Personally, I think Autobox should have made this like a separate lineup, either called it the Pursuit Series case again, because there really isn't anything similar about this case to the Defender case that I just showed you guys. But otherwise, it is a very well protective case. It's definitely a big step up from the Symmetry case if you want something that's MagSafe compatible but more protection. Taking a quick overview of this case, starting off the top here, we do have an excellent amount of top protection with the plastic and rubber wrapping around the entire border of the iPhone, compatible with my tempered glass screen protector, which is a nice thing. The majority of the sides here are made of a rubber material, which is pretty grippy as well, considering the back here is really, really slippery. I'm really happy that the sides are nice and grippy. And on the sides here, you have covers for the Varn rockers as well as a power button, and they work pretty well. They're a tad mushy because of how thick the sides of the case are, but you still get a nice tactile feedback when you press on it. And of course, a little cuddle here for the vibrate and ringer switch. On the bottom here, you have two individual cutouts for the stereo speakers and mic, as well as a protective cover for the lightning port. Lastly, on the back side of the case, you can see we've got the Autobox logo integrated on the bottom. The entire back is a smooth plastic matte finish. A dedicated cutout for the camera lens module fits my camera lens protector without any issues and that is pretty much it. All right, let's see if taking this thing off is a little easier. All right, so I would say it's a little bit easier to take off because you can easily just slide the plastic out of the rubber. Like so. And up comes your iPhone. 
Overall, what do I think about the new Autobox Defender Pro XT? Well, I actually kind of like this case. I like the design concept behind it, where that gasket helps repel dust and debris from getting in between your case and your phone. It's a little slimmer than the original Defender case here, but width-wise, it's relatively the same thing. So you still have thick borders, especially compared to the Symmetry case and Commuter case. I do like the plastic matte finish on the back here because it's definitely an easier case to slip in and out of your pocket as the only rubber parts are the sides so the whole case doesn't try to stick against the fabric of the uh, inside of your pocket. And for those of you who have MagSafe accessories, this of course is a very nice bonus as you can actually take advantage of the MagSafe feature. So if you're looking for a MagSafe ultra protective case for your iPhone, this one's definitely the one to go for thanks to its thick borders just like the original Defender case in a slimmer, different styled form factor of a case. In terms of any cons or things I don't like about the Defender Pro XT, the obvious one is that it's a very tedious case to take off and on. Um, I didn't think Autobox could make a case that was harder to put on than the Defender case, but they did with the Defender Pro XT. The only other thing I can mention in regards to con is the back is relatively slippery because it has a smooth plastic matte finish, but the sides are rubber, so you get a good firm grip when you hold your phone onto the edges. Going back to some of the negative reviews I've seen on Autobox's website, Again, I think a lot of the negative reviews were people ordering this case and finding out that this wasn't basically a MagSafe version of this because when you look at the stock photos, they do look relatively the same. So yeah, I think a lot of people were disappointed in that. But for me, the case alone, like the way it is, I think it's a nice case if you like what you see here. Otherwise, if you want something that is Defender-like, then you should get the Defender Pro or the original Defender case. So it's not really... A maxi version of this because they're two different style of cases but if you want something with better draw protection than the symmetry lineup with magsafe then this is pretty much the way to go in conclusion guys if you're looking for a drop protective dust protective and a very secure fitting case for your brand new iphone 13 pro or 13 pro max you definitely can't go wrong with the autobox defender pro xt Anyways, that is pretty much it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed my quick summary and comparison between the Autobox lineup, which we have three different models this year, the original Defender, the Defender Pro, and the new Defender Pro XT. Do you guys have a preference? Do you guys like the new Defender case? Let me know in the comment section there down below, and I'll see you all in the next video.